all right today we have another tips and tricks video this is a repeat tips and tricks video i've done this person before and last time i did this person their biggest issues was jumping a lot and burning themselves out way too too much we'll see they have the same issues or they improved those you put yourself in the corner that was a horrible decision <laughs> never put yourself in the corner and that's exactly what you did You burn again. This is an issue we had beforehand. I get this one why you did it because either way, you're gonna be on the block string, he was probably gonna burn you out. But be a little bit more cautious of it. Nice. Oh, I wouldn't mind that. Don't worry about that. Nice. See, that was good because you jumped this quarter circle back. Okay, that was see the this is the jumping I'm talking about. This just doesn't make sense. This right here. So that's still a bad habit you have of just randomly jumping. Yeah, th this has to stop. It's working for this guy, but this is a really bad habit. Once you keep climbing up the ranks, people are gonna start anti airing you. It's not gonna work. There it is again. <laughs> and you got punished again. <laughs> Stop. Jump back. That's a nice perfect parry though. It's a nice combo. Real good combo. I would have liked the level 3 right there. Get some gauge. Yeah, now you burn and he's gonna die. Yeah, no, that was a... See? I'm gonna go down to the... To the little details because I already did the tips and tricks. And some of the things are still coming back. Like burning out. And jumping a lot but i'm gonna go to the little detail right here like right here you have pressure do level three your drive gauge is low his drive gauge is gonna be low you're gonna force him into a bad spot plus you recover your drive gauge but instead you don't do level three and you burn yourself out and now you get the end now you're in the bad spot Wah. Nice reactions. Okay, a little bit, a little bit too impatient right there, right? Right here. A little bit too impatient. Because if you get the heavy punch, the DI is guaranteed. So if the if the enemy's burnt, always, always, always go for the heavy punch first. Because he could grab you. He could do anything. But if you heavy punch, he can't grab. You have to do super or jump if you do the heavy punch first. This is jumping a lot. Get it? That's about heavy. Heavy. You guys are doing that. He's one. So they do something. He's one. Yeah. Nice. Kill him. Kill him. <laughs> Nice, that was a beautiful. No, what was that, bruh? <laughs> what was that? What are you doing? <laughs> what this? This never do this ag ever again. Never do this. Nice. Nice. Back throw. See, this is some good play right here. That was literally the perfect round right there. I thought I was, I thought I was watching me play. Wait a minute. Leveled up your offense and your combo game. It's for sure your offensive combo game is insatiably better than last time. What are you waiting for? Now, you're doing this like triple jump a lot, which is really bad. You're doing this weird like wake up and jump medium, 
which is really bad because you don't have a button to come down with so they could literally just jab you and anti-air you for free you do that on wake up this on wake up a lot which is really weird stop doing that right if you're gonna jump jump and then come down with the button don't go up with the button but yeah jumping is the biggest issue you're jumping way too much people will start anti-airing you next thing is your you're not conscious of your drive meter because uh, you your game plan right now is i used to actually do this game plan which is every time i had a chance to drive rush i would drive rush but then this exact thing would happen where people would see it and just instant super so that's why i stopped doing that and i went for more mix-up Sometimes I would drive rush, sometimes I wouldn't drive rush. So, I would say mix up a little bit of drive rushing mix up with no drive rushing and just like walking and maybe even a little dash forward. Right? So just mix it up here and there. You don't have to drive rush everything to get the mix up, right? So that's one thing. I would suggest and it would also help you not being burnt out a lot of the time there was one game that you get burnt out in like 12 seconds of the game super fast now another big thing that i was noticing you would jump back into quarter circle back and then whiff in their face and get punished by it so that's another thing you have to stop doing because again even if you do like hit them they could literally do anything they could di they could super they could throw hidoken fireball heavy fireball while you're over here just charging and of course they could always just jump this as well and then you get punished so be careful with that as well i know sometimes it works sometimes it didn't but the times it didn't work it, it lost you the game so, you know, risk reward there for you. If you want to keep doing it, keep doing it, but I will do it as much. One other thing. And then the last thing, not really anything too crazy. Like I said, you really have improved since the last time. Okay, the last thing. This is the last thing. It wasn't too many things, to be honest. Last thing is you get super, when they're burnt and you're in corner, you have them in corner, you get super impatient and you just want to DI them. The only issue with that is that they could grab you and you don't get the DI and now you're in corner. You doing nothing and DI, it's just you want to get grabbed, you want to get level 3. But for the example here, I'm just going to do medium into DI because you still get grabbed. You don't want that, right? So if you heavy punch, you can't get grabbed. The only thing they could do, this is guaranteed, the only thing they could do is super you. They can't even jump this. He's jumping, look. Jumping, right? He's jumping. Not even the medium one you could jump it. So the heavy one, you can't jump that. So make sure you get the guaranteed DI in corner. Which is heavy punch into the eye. 